Hello everybody, my name is William and welcome back to another Roblox Bee Swarm Simulator video where today I would like to talk about what is the best hive color for you to pick. Well, more so just what's the best hive color to be right now overall. As Beesmith just ended and everything is shifting around a bunch because all the Beesmith buffs are gone, like the ornament buffs, all that stuff. Yeah, everything from Beesmith is all gone now. So everything has shifted around. So I'm gonna go from the worst color to the best color and I'm gonna explain each color very detailed in this video. So, to start off, the worst color to be right now, unfortunately, and I hate to say this because I really like this color, but is blue. Blue is the worst color to be right now because you make the least amount of honey with blue. You make about 350 billion per boost if you're just doing a solo pop star, but if you're running a double passive like pop star and gummy star together, you can make around like a trillion per boost, I'd say. Maybe most of the time it's about 700 billion if you have pop gummy, which is still, surprisingly enough, worse than red and white. So, yeah. Now, how how does blue work? What does blue rely on? And what helps blue? So, essentially, blue heavily relies on something called bubble bloat, which increases your capacity and your convert rate at hive. It's just, it's an overall multiplier. It goes up to like 700, um, which is seven times. So it gives you seven times capacity in blue fields, and it gives you seven times convert rate at the hive. Not convert rate, but just convert rate specifically at your hive. Now, how does, how do you get bubble bloat? Like from the pop star passive ability, how do you get bubble bloat. Well, every 30th blue bomb token you collect, it activates a pop star that starts at a counter of zero until you start popping bubbles, which will add four seconds on to your bubble bloat, which continuously stacks up to seven times. Bubble bloat can last for a maximum of three hours, and it will go down, like the multiplier will go down as you run out of time. So if you're at a solid three hours, you have seven times capacity in blue fields and seven times convert rate. If your bubble bloat is on like two hours, I believe it's like 4.0 bubble bloat, I think. So it goes down as you run out of time, but you can build it back up just collecting bubbles, right? You also get, while Popstar is active, this thing called Popstar Aura. Popstar Aura gives you two times capacity, and it gives you a blue pollen multiplier for 45 seconds. Popstar Aura is pop- Popstar Aura, huh? Okay, well, anyways, Popstar Aura is only active while your Popstar is active, so right? It's gonna have, like, a little blue star that flies around you, and the star gets bigger the more bubbles you collect. So it's kind of cool, and it's really satisfying to pop all the bubbles, so blue is really fun. I used to be blue, and blue during Beesmith made me quite a bit. It made me like 700 billion per boost, but that was with all the crazy blue buffs, but those are all gone now, so blue is considerably bad right now. However, blue, if you just got the Supreme Star Amulet, blue is the best hive color to go with at the beginning of owning a Supreme Star Amulet, because to get white and red, you need a double passive, and a double passive is 1 in 50, so that's a 1 in 500 billion honey. So go ahead, start with Pop Star, because Pop Star, you need a single passive and it's really cheap you don't need to use very many buffs to boost with you only need to use basic buffs to boost with blue so yeah like a purple potion etc all that i know that sounds expensive now but later on once you get into it it's a lot easier and it's really cheap considering red is red and white are so expensive white is the most expensive red is second most expensive and then blue is the cheapest now blue does really bad because the capacity it's not big enough because you don't convert really much at all when you're in the field so your bag fills up like crazy Crazy, and you run out of micro converters really quickly. And I know, I know, I know. Some people say get star saw with pop star, but it's actually it's pop saw is considerably. It's just really bad, and it's a waste of stingers. Don't get pop saw. Pop gummy and pop shower are the two best ones, which is pop star and gummy star, and then you have pop star and star shower. But yeah, overall, blue hives capacity needs to be buffed again. I know again because it's too small, or they need to make it so you can convert your bag quicker, or have more micro converters. He needs to buff like something like that to actually buff blue. So yeah, like long-term buff blue. Now let's move on to the second best color at the moment, which is, and there's like a, there's like a fight over this, which is better and which is worse, white or red? Well, at the moment, white is worse than red. Why is white worse than red? Because white is way too RNG. White, this it's just, it's so RNG. It's so random number generated, right? RNG is random number generator, by the way. And um, yeah, it's just, it's like, it's just luck. You just got to be lucky if you want to do good boosts with white. So yeah, white is, even if you don't have good RNG, you can still make a lot with white, like 700 billion with bad RNG. With good RNG, you can make about 1.3 trillion on an average boost with white anyways. And so, how does white work? Well, you need a double passive for white hives, right? You need gummy star and 
you need star saw. And that's the only way white can actually work. You can't get gummy star and star shower because you will fill your bag way too fast because star saw converts a bunch of your pollen and I'll explain why right after I explain why guiding star and star shower are bad for white. So star shower, I know it converts some, but it doesn't convert enough. It needs to convert more and it doesn't happen as often as it should. So like you don't convert really anything. You just get like one bag fill and you're done and you get too much inspire. So you get too much pollen. Your bag fills in literal milliseconds. So yeah, it just, it just does not work. And then same thing for gummy star and guiding star. Gummy star and guiding star just doesn't work because you do not have enough capacity. Now, what do white hives heavily rely on? They heavily rely on goo. So for white hives, you're going to need gummy boots. And yes, very expensive. You don't entirely need them because it's only 25% goo. But overall, white hives do so much better with gummy boots. So yeah, be sure you have gummy boots if you want to go to white hive. Now, why does white heavily rely on goo? Because the white hive multipliers from gummy star buff white pollen and goo. And what is goo? Goo is this stuff. Hold on. If I come over here into this field and I go ahead and use a gum drop, which is this thing right here, it drops these onto the field and the field flowers become very colorful. And as you can see, I have little yellow numbers above my head. That's not only instant conversion, but that is also goo. So you can collect a ton of goo with white because you get a bunch of goo and white pollen multipliers with gummy star. And yeah, gummy star is, yeah, it is. This is why white is so bad because of the RNG. White's not bad. It's actually really good, but like it's just too RNG at the moment. Gummy star has a 2% chance of spawning when you use a gumdrop. And if you use, it will automatically like spawn if you use 75 gumdrops. If you use 75 gumdrops, is a guaranteed chance of spawning. Um, that's just how Onnit programmed it, but uh, yeah. So it has a 2% chance of spawning and to use 75% or sorry, no. To use 75 gumdrops, that's like a quarter of your boost already done. That's like in five minutes. That's like five minutes of your boost gone. So if you have really bad RNG, you can only get like three gummy stars in a boost, but that's with bad RNG. Well, five gummy stars is good RNG. Three is really bad RNG. Six is amazing. Seven is just unheard of. Now, what is star saw useful for for a white hive and why do you need it? Because star saw converts three pollen and it adds an 0.5 more pollen converted every single 100 total attack you have. So at the moment, I have 841 attack. So my star saw is buffed by four pollen. So then it comes to seven pollen converted for every three pollen that is collected by star saw. So yeah, you also need star saw for red, by the way, just letting you know you need star saw for red as well. Star saw is just this passive ability that is just needed in every hive except for blue. Just trust me, it's the best second passive possible. Now for a white hive, you need a lot of stingers and you need a lot of gumdrops. You need, well, I can't speak English, my goodness. So yeah, you make about 750 billion to 1.3 trillion per boost with white. 750 billion if you have bad RNG, like what, 950 billion if you have decent RNG, like okay RNG. If you have good RNG, 1.3 trillion. Now, moving on to the best color you can be right now, which I, I must say, I must say myself, it is, it is extraordinarily good and it is so much fun. But the best hive color at the moment is red. And why is red the best hive color at the moment? Because it has amazing red pollen multipliers. Like as you can see, flames, where is it? Where's my flame heat? Constant 1.5 times red pollen, like constant. It never stops. And, and you have incredible attack with red. Also red is like, there's, you don't have any RNG with red. There's like none. You don't have any RNG with red unless you're like donating a purple potion you're trying to get like good red wins well every hive has that bit of rng because for boosting you need wind so you get the point every hive is a little bit rng so red is the least rng though so it's kind of like blue and it has like barely any rng required so yeah and red has the best pollen multipliers and star saw converts the most with red because red has the most attack because of the flame heat and also you need a lot of spicy bees and you get a bunch of extra fire bees so you can get up to like 2200 total attack and that makes your star saw convert like your entire bag in like milliseconds your bag is just gone right it's just poof your bag is emptied and you can collect a ton more and it's just it's really it's really good if you want up in this corner up here i have actually a video on red hive boosting like i boosted with a red hive featuring zanprez by the way and zanprez is another bee swarm simulator youtuber he just hit 5,000 subscribers so congratulations zanprez anywho so why is red good i just said because of the pollen multipliers but also because of the passive ability scorching star you need scorching star and you need star saw otherwise your bag is going to explode
explode. So be sure to have Star Saw. So Scorching Star, every 30th red boost token, it activates a Scorching Star for 45 seconds, which grants conversion links up to 30 conversion links. So your bag's converting a ton. It gives you two times red field capacity, and it gives you even more red pollen multipliers, right? It gives you like up to five times red pollen. So add that onto that flame, that flame heat. That's just insane. You're getting up to 7.5 times more red pollen. And add that onto the demon mask multiplier. You're getting so much pollen with red. And also the lack of RNG is just so satisfying because you do not have to worry about not getting any gummy stars or anything like that. Because instead what you're worrying about is running out of stingers. It's so expensive. My goodness, I have 25. But yeah, yeah. So Scorching Star, when it's active, it also gives you 50% flame instant conversion. So you have 100% instant flame conversion with uh, with red hives with Scorching Star active because the Demon Mask already gives you 50% instant flame conversion. So your flames are instantly converting constantly and constantly and your flames are constantly collecting. They're not like bubbles that need to be popped to collect pollen. They're just constantly collecting pollen. So if you have a ton of flames, you can get a ton of pollen. It's all 100% instant conversion with Scorching Star active and even it's still 100% instant conversion because of Star Saw. Man, it is just, I can I, I cannot stress this enough. Red is so overpowered right now. Like E-I-O-I, or is it e -Lol? I, I, he's got like the most confusing name in the world, but E-Lol YouTuber, or e <laughs> e YouTube, has two quadrillion honey, and he's a red hive, and he has never switched hives. So red at the moment is the best hive to be at the moment. So uh, yeah, that's about it for today's video. Do not forget to leave a like and subscribe. I will leave links in below to videos on what you need to become each hive color. Like if you want to be a blue hive, red hive, or white hive, I have three links in the description to three little tutorial videos that I have in the description below. So uh, yeah, and everyone, that's about it. So goodbye.